You see, w what happened? No, I met her in England. It was again quite a story, I must say, because, well, <laughs> um, I heard about her in Berkeley, and, and wow. because there is a student called Rajesh Shah oh, yeah. who was in Berkeley, and you know there was an Indian boy from Bombay in the Johns Hopkins mm -hmm. University where I was studying. So mm -hmm. when I went to Berkeley, mm -hmm. I mean, I went in the flat of Rajesh and there were a couple of people who were stoned there and Rajesh was sort of watching it, you know. Mm -hmm. I remember one who exited the, the flat crawling on his tongue. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Right. anyway, and then he started speaking oh, to me about Shri mm -hmm. Mataji and uh, he wanted to give me my realization. I said, "No way! <laughs> Who do you think you are? You know, I was not going to get my realization from this guy." And then he told me about Sri Mataji, and he told me it was above the observatory of San Francisco. And then he just told me point blank. She told me she was Sita. She was Radha. She was the Virgin. And so you know that blew me. Off and I say, well, because the guy was not stupid. Yeah? I said, well, then I need to check. Yeah. Then I flew, I flew to London. I had a friend in London who was a lifeguard of the Queen, and it turned out, you know, okay, I, you know, two years earlier I had visited him in Cambridge, and he picked me up at the airport, and he was a really sweet boy, and. Um, I remember I was in the car, and he tells me, uh, Grégoire, I have an affair, I hope you don't mind. I said, of course I don't mind, why should I mind, he has a girlfriend. And then I was on the back of the car, and he said, well, I'm sure you like Richard. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really prepared for that, okay? So, you know, okay, we were moving into, you know, another cultural sort of interest in development. So, so when I came back to Sishri Mataji, I stopped at, at this flat. And this boy who was cute and was really sweet and everything, it looked like the portrait of Dorian Gray, you know, because you could see, you know, he was sort of... So it's from that flat that I called Sri Mataji. And I said, well, you, really, you know, I, I, my friend Rajesh, and then I still remember her voice. And her voice was like coming from the clouds, you know. I was in that flat and there were a couple of guys around and it was really weird, no? And, and then I had that voice who came from somewhere else, you know, and she said, yeah, sure, come and meet me. I'm waiting for you, this, this, this. And then, then I went and I remember, you know, I went to this house where we are going and I rang the bell and then she was on the right side, all dressed in white. And then I was all scruffy, of course, and you no know, long hair, and so you know I I tried to look like I had some education. <laughs> so I actually kissed her hand, and she said, "May God bless you." And uh, and then 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 that's the way it started. And then uh, at some point she told me, "I will have to test you." And then I burst into laughter, and I said, "Oh, you can test me." <laughs> because I didn't know what, you know, it meant, <laughs> you know. But, you know, in those days, we thought we could not do anything wrong, you know. The well, same I, for I, you. I was beginning to suspect that I've done a few things wrong. <laughs> by then. I, uh, you know, I was going to, I think the second time when I visited, I had come back from Switzerland, and I was on the little salon. You remember the salon yeah, up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, I have a memory of this salon. There was this statue of Ganesha in wood yeah, yeah, we had yeah. at the ashram. Yeah, you know? yeah. 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 yeah, you remember? Yeah. And at some point she asked me, because I felt that, you know, one of the reasons I, you know, you thought you were, you know, finished because of the drugs, but I thought I was finished because of the Moladra chakra. So finished for finished, you know. So mm -hmm. at some point I was laying on my me. I mean, I was just flat laying before a statue of Sri Ganesha, and she asked me, ask forgiveness to Sri Ganesha. So I was laying like this before the picture, and I was, you know, asking, please, Sri Ganesha, forgive me. And then I felt cool vibration coming from the statue. And I tell you, this was something. Because, uh, anyway, so in that same room, I was going to leave. And I felt I'm not going to maintain this, you know, because when, as he described in his book, when you are with her, you feel, 
you know, you feel so comfortable, you know, the comfort of the spirit, you feel so, you know, within, you know, the territory of love, all right? But then when you leave, it's another matter. So, you know, I felt, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to manage that. I had to take my place. And then she was sitting like, yeah, almost like you and me, no? And then she said, she was like this. And then she said, you shouldn't be sad. Because I was feeling sad, but I was not telling her. Then she just said to me, you shouldn't feel sad. And she, she did something like that with her hands. And then, the complete, total, you know, like when we feel vibration, it's in the gaseous state. You know, according to the sixth chapter of the Jnaneshwari, Kundalini Adayala. But then when that raises two powers so and so, the guy, you know, it's like in the cloud, the cloud become condensated in water, right? So it was a liquid, it was not a gaseous, it was a liquid coming into the entire, each cell of the body. And it was a complete time route. And, you know, sometimes, you know, I say, okay, human beings, you know, imagine that the highest intensity of sensation they can experience is sex. I mean, for all of us, right? But that was more than that. And in the entire body. And it was sacred. Because it was a spiritual, it was sacred, but it was also physical. So it was both sacred and physical. And so I felt this thing. And that's when I, you know, a saint cannot do that. A prophet cannot do that, you know. So, you know, that when I said, gee, you know, this is something else. You know. And it went, you know, it, it went away after some time. You know, and I never had such a powerful experience afterwards, never, ever. And yet, afterwards, I hope I was better than what I was then. But this was a compassion because she gave us those experiences because she probably thought that we needed to, you know, comfort our own confidence, otherwise we would just be washed away. So just out of compassion she gave us these things.